Yeah, Yo, y'all see the office? Check this out. As you guys know, we have had the two bays right here from the shop for the last almost nearly a year. I've been operating and keeping all the vehicles on this side. And I know a lot of people in the videos have been seeing this door and this has been pretty much empty until now. We actually have only been leasing out these two, but we went ahead and actually grabbed this third bay. We got a new office. Gang. That is way bigger. Told you it was huge in here. Y'all were asking how big it was. So much room for activity. Can we get a trampoline? It's gonna be really nice because right now where the office is located, which is where everybody is that I pretty much need to talk to on a day-to-day -day basis, is actually like a mile away. But I run back and forth between the shop and the office so regularly that it's gonna be really nice to have the office pretty much here. So that way, anytime that I need to talk to anybody, I just walk literally one door over. So it's gonna be pretty cool. What I'm gonna have is a one-sided window where I look through to y'all and y'all can't see. <laughs> or the opposite, yeah, where we look through to you. Enough. Yeah, we'll do that. Check out what we got going on today. Monty Carmos. Not Monty Carmos. So over here, I've got a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of goodies that we're going to be taking care of in the next few videos. Like seriously, box after box after box after box. Now you guys know that I am sponsored by Course of Performance. Unfortunately though, they don't have one for the sob. <laughs> this exhaust though was not actually sent over by Corsa. This exhaust was sent over by our friends over at Lethal Performance. Lethal Performance is honestly where I purchase a lot of my own personal parts from, aside from like sponsorship deals and stuff. And luckily they have really great shipping. Uh, I'm not going to name names, but uh, I will say that a lot of the companies that I've worked with in the past have had a lot of issues with shipping where I will order something and they will send me something just completely different whenever we get incorrect parts in. The problem is that it like pushes all the videos back. So then I have to wait on videos and I have to wait on uploading and then eventually I start losing money. So fortunately, Lethal Performance has been one of the best companies to me. Every single time that I've ordered anything, had it there to me in a snap, had everything included, had everything right, shipped to the right address, and even better, whenever I ask for like two day shipping, it ends up being there like the next day. Seriously, I have a lot of love for those guys. They actually have a lot of sales going on right now. So if you wanna go check out their website, lethalperformance.com down in the description below. If you're looking for performance parts, that's the place to go. Got to, man. <laughs> I have been running the stock little crappy, no offense to the Z01 stock exhaust, but anyways, uh, the Z01 Camaros, they have this little flap back here. It's like a valve that opens and closes. It basically creates like an aftermarket sound. And I was really scared that people were going to get under the car and see that I didn't have cats and I was going to go to jail and all this and that. So we had these little hollowed out cat yeah. looking things That'll yeah That'll <laughs> anyways though we're gonna get this stock exhaust pulled out of the way and get that nasty h pipe crap out and in this box is what we're gonna replace it with check it out go <laughs> <Damn. laughs> i am a freaking sucker a sucker for courses black chrome tips oh my god i feel like we have done so many unboxings of corsa exhaust i've had i think four now entire cat bags from corsa at this point all the other three have been from corsa itself but like i said these are from our guys over there at lethal and once again guys thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so much for this this is awesome they have been helping out with a lot and you probably don't know what i'm meaning yet there's a lot of stuff that we haven't even made videos on yet so get ready for the next few videos i'm telling you lethal has seriously came in clutch like crazy recently and allowed us to do a lot of cool stuff that you guys have been wanting so i'm excited oh wait do it again do it again i'm gonna get a, a cinematic of you doing it <laughs> it looks so funny mom i'm sorry <laughs> It is crazy how dirty this car is. Honestly, what I want to do to it is just like I've been doing with every other vehicle for the last few that I've had, get it completely paint corrected and then get it ceramic coated. That would be, ooh. Just to give you an update on the engine that we dropped off. If you guys remember a few videos ago, we dropped off a Coyote engine. Well, actually the stock Coyote engine that came out of the black car. It actually blew up a while back. It wasn't that bad, but the walls were a little bit messed up. So we kind of boarded over a little bit. We should be good for about 1100 to 1200 horsepower with all the built components that we threw in it. So uh, we should be able to pick that up tomorrow, I believe. I just got off the phone with them a minute ago, get it thrown in the car, and hopefully our temporary engine setup will be good to go in that car so I can get at least a few more passes in before the end of the year. As you guys know, we've been having a lot of problems also mmr said that they are going to be trying to get that hooked up and get it fixed and return to us here in the next few weeks so please stay patient i promise you whenever that comes back we're going to be doing the craziest stuff but until then i'm trying to make everything work so we got a temporary engine getting built and we're going to be putting that in the car soon so anyways though doug's pulling off the stock exhaust right now so let's go ahead and get this course the cat back installed you know the best way to know that this is my old car what oh at it's just a six at, dick. at Zorby with a dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because I still remember me and Dana whenever we put this drive shaft in here writing those. That's crazy, dude. I want to put something. I want to draw something on it. Dana, what the? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that is a awkward. Don't wipe off my stock manifolds are like two and a half inch that's collectors. That's why but we've got it. three inch collectors. Uh, so we got that. Poe. <laughs> I made the exhaust on the side, bro. Thing is yeah, that that says a lot. Let's look at that real quick. <laughs> I'll leave Doug alone for a day. It's a race car, bro. It's heritage. Oh, oh, it's a race car. All right, guys, check it out. We've got our X pipe and everything in place now. Once we get ready, we're gonna lift this up, clamp it all down, and then we've got to connect these pipes from the rear axle backs back here. It's kind of a little bit of a puzzle piece, but let's that's say. how all exhaust systems end up. Man. Dude, I've been wanting a Corsa exhaust on this car for so long. Hello. Hey. Hey. What you doing? I'm leaving work. What are you doing? So I'm sitting in my truck. I came outside to call you. Guess what? What? Right now on Billboard, we are number wow. 24 in rap album sales. Shut up. How is this possible? <laughs> um, we're number 38 in R&B and hip hop sales. And there's, <gasps> there's another chart called the Heat Seekers. And guess what number we are on Heat Seekers chart? What? Number nine. No way. We're number 24 in the world right now for rap album sales. Holy sh**. <laughs> how are you so calm? Like, how are you calm? Oh, I'm not. I'm sitting here. I'm tearing up. So we're right oh behind uh, Post Malone. I mean, we're right in front of Post Malone. Sorry. How, how do you get this information? Like, I, I just I signed up for the little billboard thing so I could see it, and I just now emailed him. I said, "Hey, quick question for you: Is there any way for us to monitor the album's progress on the billboard charts because we didn't see it or whatever?" Basically, he was just saying all charts are posted on our site at billboard.com. Most charts are viewable with a pro subscription to the site. So I had to go get a pro subscription, which I did. We're literally in the middle of installing a Corsa exhaust on the Camaro, and I like ran outside of the shop, and I was like, "I gotta call my mom." <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so happy for y'all, so I don't even know what to do. Me or Caleb really haven't even thought about it because I don't know what to say yet. We're ahead of Post Malone for album sales. I wonder how much Post Malone made off of his album. Oh, damn. Yeah. I feel I like it's a lot. How, like, <laughs> well, yeah, <thank> <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I don't know about this stuff oh yeah yeah me either trust me i'm a i'm a effing car youtuber so trust me i'm <laughs> i really don't get it either it's actually t this month made a year that i've dropped out of school i know because the only reason i know that is because i realized the other day you should be graduating in December and you weren't and I was like oh let me shed a little tear and then I was like wait a minute he's probably going to do better than he probably could have ever done with his college degree and he's going to love what he does so that was the hardest decision though that I've ever made was dropping out of school I know you you already were wrapped into so much college debt you were like how is this going to pay off my little ten dollar an hour job I was worried about quitting because I was like what if I don't make enough money to live and eat and pay rent and everything and i was terrified and then i've got twenty thousand dollars in student loans i owe already uh, and then yeah i know in the first six months of even trying to work on my own and doing everything independent my student loans were paid off all my debts were paid off we moved to this great apartment we got a shop we started six media and then six months after that we've got albums hitting the charts and you're having fun well that's awesome so what are y'all doing right now what are y'all gonna do to celebrate or work <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> my mom is the most excited right now really yeah were you, were you just crying huh were you crying yeah i can hear it in your voice <laughs> you need a dog hug right now yeah give me a dog hug oh gosh <laughs> Ow. Anyways, enough with the music stuff. Let's uh, let's finish an exhaust. I say finish it because Doug already put it up in place and everything <laughs> while I was outside. I walk out every time I leave. I swear to God, I leave for five minutes and come back and everything's done somehow. I just have to tighten it all up, but we're gonna have to make a little three-inch straight pipe there to there. Okay. They don't have any. They didn't include those in the piping. No, I think it's for the stock cats because it's a cat back. Oh, uh, factory cats true. down to that, and then it comes from here back to a two and a half. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 so, yeah. That's okay. We got welded for a reason. Thank you to Eastwood. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, though, we are on our way to go pick up Doug, his new project car, which is a Lexus SC300. And a lot of people probably don't know much about these cars, but they come primarily, I think, only in automatic, but you can swap in a CDO9 
nine into them. Yeah, well, they've got a few options. So the thing is, the SC platform it shares the underbody of a Supra, which not everybody knows. Down to control arms. It's like a heavier Supra. Supra. It's like a it's yeah, luxury a luxury Supra. Supra. Yeah. They had the two JZ GE, which of course is not it, the turbo. Not turbo, but, but it is non VVTI. Right. That's what's what saying. And it shares rods. The pistons are higher compression, and they're not quite as strong. But the thing is, he's already got turbo <laughs> rods and pistons, so we're <laughs> just gonna take the two J out. Manual swap it. Turbo rods and pistons in it that he's already got out of his other Lexus and CX Racing turbo kit. Yeah, we're going to CX Racing. Uh, if you're on board, coilovers, big banner. I've got a nice one, and it's actually a pretty <laughs> clean car. Either way, long story short, it's going to be really cool because even though it's not my vehicle, I'm definitely going to be helping Doug with it, and it's going to be something cool to put on the channel because it is a 2JZ, and I have not personally had any dealings with the 2JZ before, so it's going to be really exciting for me to be able to learn about it. If you guys are interested in 2JZ stuff, here <laughs> we go. Sub. Click sub. <laughs> Click subscribe because here we go. <laughs> first time I ever met Doug. Well, not the first time. One of the first few times that I ever met Doug. It's not the car that he has right now, but he had a pretty much brand new Roush Mustang. And I hear his car crank up, and I was like, who's that dude? And they're like, oh, that's Doug. He cranks it up, and all of a sudden, I see... <laughs> just doing straight donuts and drifting around the entire parking lot. And I was like... Okay, I met Doug whenever, actually before I had my 370Z. I still had my Infiniti G37. Infiniti I met you G37, before that because so. you were on the bike. You remember that first Oh, night? you're right. Yeah. You met me whenever I had my uh, yeah. CBR1000, yeah. the first one. This man but. wanted to race me in my little four banger. <laughs> <laughs> little four banger yeah little okay banger. doug has a turbo scion tc that makes probably about seven or eight hundred at the wheel uh, it's like six six seven, seven or eight hundred at the wheel trust me <laughs> how many pounds of boost was it uh 35 well, yeah well my gauge goes to 35 <laughs> oh yeah, so. yeah so i was trying to race him on my it was stock at the time it was a 2007 i think cbr 1000 double r that was my first leader bike that i'd ever bought i thought that was like the fastest thing ever so i was like dude i gotta race doug he never got to race me because he ended up taking it to texas 2k that year and blowing it up and then yeah that was the transmission that was like number yeah. five but anyways we're starting i guess a new chapter for doug of project cars and he's going to pick up this little sc 300 which is pretty exciting i'm not gonna lie see i think if we do 350 or 400 it's probably gonna run like i said the aristo ec I feel like I'm telling you, I feel like no one on this channel is going to know at all what we're talking about right now. I hope they do. If not, we can, at curious. Least, like, we can we can teach them some stuff. I can learn a little bit along the way. CD09. Repeat after me. 2JZ. <laughs> this is so, this is like foreign territories that we're in. Inline six. <laughs> Inline six cylinder. <laughs> six cylinder engines. Yes, they do exist. And we are going to bring one on the channel, apparently. Back to it's just a six. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I can, I can barely see the nose that we're fucking out over there. <laughs> you ready? Check it. Oh! <laughs> smells like burning tires. You've been doing burnouts I in this thing? I actually did it one time. Come no. On uh, just now. <laughs> so this is the 2JZ that is in there. this thing. That's the only leak on the whole motor right there. That, right there with it all. This is basically a Supra in disguise. 2JZ GE engine, so non-VVTi and uh, it is non-turbo obviously, it's not the GTE. So it's pretty much, it's very close. It just needs turbo pistons, turbo rods. And after that, turbo kit and there we go. Anyways though, his plan is to take that 2JZ engine out. And obviously Doug, if you haven't been following the channel or you've been living under a rock, Doug is very, very skilled mechanically. So he shouldn't even have to come out of pocket, hardly any money at all. He's already got the rods and pistons at his house that he needs. So we're gonna be able to take it, yank the motor out, throw those rods and pistons in it, probably get it machined and cleaned up a little bit, throw it all back together. And then put a turbo on it and it should be pretty much the exact exact same thing as the 2jz gte that comes in the supras which is gonna be a pretty cool build i'm pretty happy for them honestly i have no idea what that is all right here we go it's time to start it and it's cold You're gonna sh yourself when you hear this. Holy hell. Corsa, I love your exhaust on Mustangs because I said for a long time that they're the best thing I've ever heard. This is ridiculous. Woo! 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix the tail light. Ignore it. That's intense. Wow. Holy cow. You know what time it is. Comment down below or click up above right now. Up at the top of the screen right there, there's a poll. Click on there. Tell us if you like the sound of the cammed Mustang or the cammed Camaro. Daniel, play a good sound clip of the Mustang whenever it's cammed. Holy. Oh my God. sounds amazing no way I definitely see why proper exhausts are worth the money man holy crap like I said guys leave the performance down below you can get your Corsa exhaust from them I like this car so much more now get a load of that that sounds good huh that sounds good. You should have heard it on the cold start. Say, it's a lot louder than the last one. That's a sport or extreme. Extreme. Yeah. If you haven't already, make sure you drop a like on this video. So hit that subscribe button down below. Turn notifications on if you want to see some really cool stuff coming up in the next few days. It's going to be awesome. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next video. She really is though. Attitude's a little bit shit. Yeah. Wanna take it to the city. Yeah. She talk shit on girls just for being pretty. Yeah. Why you like that? Huh? The look that it got, I could tell she didn't like, she that. Didn't like that. Now she wanted me to fight back. Uh. Wild as hell, thank God I didn't like that.